the gentry British blues in rock musician John Muir died at 90. John Muir of musical luminary whose pioneering work in the rhythm and blues genius Janet him the moniker the godfather of British blues has died at the age of 90. According to a statement published on Miss Muir's official website, the legendary guitarist passed away peacefully on July 22nd at his home in California while surrounded by close relatives. Health issues that forced John to end this epic touring career have finally led to peace for one of his bold greatest road warriors. His family shared John Muir gave us 90 years of tireless efforts to educate, inspire and entertain. Mr. Mial family wrote that the musician's raw honesty, connection, community and playing of his will continue to affect the music and culture we experience today and for generations to come, keep on playing the blues somewhere, John. The statement continues, we love you. Remembering John Mial, Mrs. Mial was born on November 29th. in 1933 in Macfield England located about 60 miles south of Manchester Mr Mial traveled in music in his teens drawing inspiration from influential blues guitarists such as Brownie Mackey Big Bill Brownie and lead billion pianist of the Boggy Boggy Jenner including Albert Amos and Meet Lex Lewis. When he was 14, he enrolled at Manchester's Junior School of Art, where he studied the piano. Later, he honed his guitar skills and picked up the harmonica. After serving three years as an office clerk with the British Army's Royal Rangers, Mr. Mial embarked on a career as a graphic designer. Howard decided to quit his job to pursue his passion for music. Moving to London at the age of 30 to found the Blues Breakers, a blues rock band best known for its hit Room to Move from the group's 1969 live album The Turning Point. Over the years, the band featured an array of now renowned artists including Eric Clapton, Fleetwood Mac Mick Fleetwood, John McVie, and Peter Green, and guitarist Mike Taylor, who later played for the Rolling Stone, among many others. Mr. Mial spoke about his penchant of recruiting some of the biggest British blows. Asked during the December 2014 interview with The Guardian, If you go into blues history, you find bands formed around the band leaders trying to realize the sound they wanted. They put the band together to enact what they had to mind. The main man chose the musician to create a specific sound. I had certain ideas and I needed to go out and find the right people to realize them, he said. I was a bent leader in the traditional role as well as a front man i used my ears to pick out what i thought would work and i suppose that in the long term the career of the people involved show that i may to pick out some pretty special people after relocating to los angeles in 1969 mr mir released numbers album including Just the June 1970 Back to the Roots 1971 and Jazz Blues Fifth Fusion 1972 Recent album include 2017's Talk About That and 29's Nobody Told Me Music <laughs>